Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I'm going to discuss TUMT, or transurethral microwave thermotherapy, as a minimally invasive treatment for men who have urinary difficulties secondary to prostate enlargement. What is involved here? Well, like several of the minimally invasive treatments, the idea is heat up the prostate tissue to a very high temperature and that high temperature will destroy the prostate tissue which over the next several days and weeks will die off and help relieve your symptoms. The procedure is relatively easy to do. It's done in an office setting. A catheter is inserted into the penis and inside that catheter is the microwave instrument that will generate the energy causing the heat. Another catheter is placed inside the rectum that has a thermometer inside. That way it's possible to measure and monitor the amount of heat that's getting into your body. And so it's possible to circulate water around the catheter that's inside the penis in order to keep the temperature from getting too high and thereby causing damage beyond what is accepted. So the procedure takes about an hour to perform. Patients generally can go home the same day. Oftentimes they will go home with a catheter. And one of the issues about TUMT compared to either the TERP or the green light laser is the symptoms do not often get relieved right away. And so a catheter may be necessary for a day or longer. And even when the catheter is removed, Patients may find that their symptoms have not completely eliminated and it takes days or weeks until that occurs. The procedure is very safe, low incidence of complications. The main thing is that you may need a catheter or that you may get a urinary infection. There's a low incidence of urinary incontinence and there's a low incidence of retrograde ejaculation. So it is among the options we have it is a reasonable procedure for men that have a prostate that's at least 20 grams or larger. And one of the difficulties we face today is how do we know for sure who is the best patient? Well, unfortunately, we haven't figured that out. So there are doctors who prefer to use the TUMT, and then there are doctors who prefer to use a laser, and there are doctors that prefer to use what's called a tuna. These will be discussed in other videos. Is one better than another? There's no data that allows us to say that. One of the questions you want to ask your doctor, how many do they do? Another question you want to ask is, what are the likelihoods of getting a recurrence in your practice? The problem with these minimally invasive treatments is they don't do as good a job in getting rid of the uh, problem. They don't improve the symptoms as much as the TURP or the green light laser, and they have a higher rate of recurrence, meaning that several years later, you may need to have this or another procedure performed. So it's less invasive, less invasive to have it done now, but you pay a price in that it may recur later on. Still, it is a reasonable option to consider among the various options available. And before you make a decision, you want to learn about all of these options. If you have a doctor that doesn't do the procedure, you should ask your doctor who does in the community and maybe have a consultation with them. But in general, it is an option to consider as you're going through your options for managing this disease. Thank you.